Hello and welcome to this next episode of Career Corner. This episode, a series of which comes every day, brings to you various aspects of careers and human talent development. How do you really evolve careers in various diverse uh, areas and domains? And how do you evolve the practical and the conceptual side of each career? How do you bring those resources to the economy, to the society and to the public at large? This entire evolution process of various careers are taken on each day. We had sessions related to media and communication. We had sessions related to biotechnology and biochemistry, on engineering and technology, on even counseling and education marketing, service marketing. We had on social sciences and liberal arts. And today we bring to you a discussion on professional development as a part of every career, every professional career. And to have a discussion on that, we have with us the Operations Director of School of Professional Studies, Adamus University, Kolkata, Professor Joy Chaudhary. Uh, welcome to the show, Mr. Joy. Thank you so much. The point that I would like to ask before, uh, that I would like to inform the viewers before I ask the first question to Mr. Joy is that Ms. Chaudhary has, have, has had a checkered career both in the corporate sector and in academics. In the corporate sector with pharma companies, with uh, Amazon and several others, he had been in learning and development cell. The learning and development which looks into the, uh, the, the specific skills development and retraining and training all those things, aspects of corporate uh, professionals working in a particular company. He has been doing that for Amazon India from Hyderabad and a few other companies earlier. Alongside, he has had an uh, academic career teaching in Georgia University and a few other places. Uh, uh, in Hyderabad also in a business school, a leading business school there as the acting dean there of the business school. And today, he is spearheading the School of Professional Studies at Adamus University. So, Professor jo Chaudhary, the first thing that I would like to ask is that what do you look at professional development? Because it's like a all-encompassing world. Absolutely. World. Everything comes under professional development. Right. Whether it's an attitudinal issue, whether it's a soft skill, whether it's a life skill, whether, I mean, everything comes. How do you define in the school as a scope of the school's learning and teaching uh, you know, functions? What is professional development from the School of Professional Development Studies Center? Great. So, uh, whenever I talk about uh, professional development, what am I talking about? What I'm talking about is every student, when they join a university or a college, they come with a lot of aspirations. They come with a lot of, lot of, they have their goals in their mind. They have their, you know, um, they want to do this. They want to do their higher studies. They want to join great companies, MNCs. Now, the question to understand is, what is it that takes them to the next level? What are the qualities, what are the skill sets required for them or to enable them to chase their dreams? And that is, I think, predominantly the work of School of Professional Studies. What we try and understand is where do they stand and where do they want to go? And bridging this gap is what professional School of Professional Study does. All right. So, a human being, when knows certain domain conceptually, academically, he becomes knowledgeable in that domain. It could be to do with engineering or it could be dealing with a law, it could be dealing with management, anything. Absolutely. But when this academic knowledge, conceptual knowledge, needs to produce a talent which is useful in the industry, there has to be certain professional skills brought in. Understanding of professionalism and certain skills. So I gather from Professor Joy Chaudhary that these professional skills are value added skills which are, bring, which are brought in through a process of training and learning in every individual at Adamus University because before they are placed before the industry and the society at large. So that's the job of the school, right? That's right. So so the, the exact point I would explain, you said it right. So when I talk about um, the number of students, let me, let me pick up uh, engineering graduates. 
half a million graduates um, pass out every year. Now, if you look at uh, the Federation of Chamber of Commerce, they said that 53% of the companies are not happy with their new hires. The question is why? They have checked on their academic records and that is when they have hired. The question is it's not only the academic records that matter. What matters is, as you said, the application of that knowledge. Also, they are looking at a couple of skill sets. Let me talk about a couple of them. When we talk, when we talk about joining multinational companies or great companies across the globe, we are talking about communication skill. We are talking about critical thinking. I'm saying there are loads of information we gather every moment, every day. The, and most of the time, the information we gather are either biased or modified. Now, to, for a right mind to accept or understand those information, process them, analyze them, and reach to a conclusion which helps in decision making is a quality, is a skill set. And School of Professional Studies enables you to acquire those skill sets value added skill sets so that you are absolutely prepared to join whatever you, company you want to join. Great. Employability skills is right. the core that you'd like to know. Yes. At. So academics knowledge is fine, which is important. Technical knowledge about the domain is important, but there has to be also employable skills, employability skills, which you bring under professional studies. What are the various sectors or let's say verticals of professional studies if you could detail on that? Lovely. So uh, when I talk about school of professional studies, you would look at, we have divided into three basic components. One is called the skilling school where we um, make them skilled. The second one is we are talking about competitive exams, national and international. And the third is uh, the government sector competitive exams. Now I would let's start off from the government sector competitive exams. Now when I talk about state level SSC, um, UPSC exams, we are talking about uh, WBCS, IAS, IPS, IFS. We are talking about uh, judiciary services. We are talking about um, banking, PO, um, SSC, CGL exams, all right. We have a crafted, detailed course where every individual uh, is guided by a uh, by um, an uh, you know experienced guide throughout the course so that by the end of the course they are ready to sit for their prelims as well as the mains and come out with flying colors that's one and the second i was talking about the national and international level competitive exams now when i talk about students joining university I am talking about two largely, broadly two different groups. One group who wants to join jobs and who wants to do higher studies in India and the other group who wants to do higher studies abroad. Now, if in India when you have completed your masters, you want to you know, pursue your career doing research or getting into PhD or joining uh, as a professor uh, in some colleges, we get them prepared for net, net and SLET. And people who want to go abroad, there are two exams, predominantly what you have to give. One is the test of English language and the other one is the subject related. Now test of English language across the world, we know it as IELTS or TOEFL or PTE. Now uh, in these tests, you are assessed on four broad parameters how you speak the language, how you write the language, and the third is how you read and comprehend, and the fourth one is how you listen and comprehend. So in School of Professional Studies, we have courses designed for IELTS TOEFL, and for subject related, when I talk about masters you want to do, uh, you can join uh, you know, GRE course, and if you want to do your management, abroad you can got to sit for GMAT so we have all these courses with us there is another set of uh, people 
for example, more of predominantly technical students who want to sit for GATE. GATE has a couple of advantages. GATE is not only for masters. Um, to join any PSU today, you've got to clear GATE. You've got to have a good score in GATE. And there are multiple universities in Singapore and Southeast Asia where they hire you or you can join their masters based on your GATE score. So we have a course for GATE also. Now let me come to the uh, one we have not spoken about which is called the skilling school. Now skilling school can be divided into two parts. So one is the subject related, the other one is the employability skills. When I talk about employability skills, we take them through communication or predominantly effective communication. We also take them through critical thinking. We take them through something which is called uh, team building or uh, being a team player. We talk about leadership and multiple of them. Time management, quite a number. All of them, these are all employability skills. Now, let me move to the other one which is subject related. We have launched multiple short courses for all the subjects. When I talk about engineering, I'm talking about certain coding um, you know, certificate courses. We are talking about Python. We are talking about R. We are talking about you know, um, multiple other courses, all right, Java, JE, uh, all of them. When I talk about psychology, I'm talking about short courses like you know, um, psychometric testing tool. We have MBTI, we have DISC, all right? We have TAT, thematic perception test. We also have um, something which is called Hogan. So we take them through all these small courses so that once they are done, they can come out, once they finish up their graduation, they can come out as a psychometric testing profession. So we have this year, we have also launched foreign language courses. So we have started off with three. We have Spanish, French, and German. I would again um, take another one minute to explain why we have launched this. Um, there are multiple universities in three countries in Europe where the tuition fees are zero. Germany, France, and Norway. All right? But the, the one single criteria you need to have is you need to you should be able to speak the language. So, for example, you want to join uh, an university in, in Germany, you, besides your IELTS score and GRE uh, score, you have to have um, a knowledge of German language. So, we have started Spanish, German and French this time. Research is on my way. I am very much proud to be a part of Arabas University. Cricket is my passion and I am proud to be a part of Arabas University.
Sundar Biswai. This is Kunal Kanti Maiti. I'm Srijani Paul. This college has given me placement in one of the best companies in US staffing, which is Iconma. I am proud to be a part of Adams University. Education today is changing the traditional chalk and talk method into new age experiential learning. New techniques like flipped classroom, case study method and increasingly higher component of learning by doing are changing the game. Also, evaluation processes are evolving from just semester end exam to continuous evaluation. Jury judge practical work, life projects and what not. Aroma School of Education prepares these new age teachers for schools and colleges of India. Malo Rozgar, Kaja Shikriti, Shopne Chakri. Eglu Jonak is Shudhi Kotter Police from Jathisto. Now, in the Porosana, I bring professional training and at a combination. The Jamonic College by University, Jedai Dutori Garrity, Jamon Adams University. Ekhane Chatrona Shudhu Porika, Daran Nomorino, Shanga by Gudan to placement, even Kormo Jivone Projunio Dokota. I am going to Adamus University admission test. I am going With a 2% share of the India's GDP, the media industry is growing faster than India's GDP. And with the world's largest number of films and television channels, it is the national informer and entertainer. With more than 1,000 films a year, cinema is our soft power. News, entertainment, brand communication, we lead Asia in all and a multi-skill multimedia talent is being trained in the Arama School of Media and Communication. Pharmaceutical technology is on the rise in India in particular and Asia in general. A newer research in medicine is modernizing the sector immensely. We in India have the fastest growing pharma sector in the developing world today. Adama School of Pharmaceutical Technology with its superb and detailed laboratory facilities has one of the best pharma schools in the nation waiting to welcome you. There is no more intellectual pursuit of knowledge higher than the liberal sciences which encompass physics, chemistry, mathematics, geography and psychology. Adamas University School of Sciences has seamlessly blended conceptual learning with practice and evolved BSc and MSc courses leading to research, academic and corporate careers for the learners. Welcome to the wonderful world of sciences at Adamas University. That almost touches the lives of all the 3,500 students currently studying in Adamus and would also be touching the lives of the 2,000 students expected to join by September new entrants into the Adamus family. And fabulous overview, viewers you have just learned, the School of Professional Studies has its focus, its eyes on three types of broad areas, competitive exams, Indian various state level, central level competitive exams and foreign education, all forms of foreign education that you need to get into and all that examinations connected to foreign education detailed by Professor Joy Chaudhary earlier and the third skilling part which also has general employability skills and specific short term courses of various schools from various schools presented or provided for through the School of Professional Studies. He has also talked about the introduction of foreign language education as another special area. And that's quite a bouquet of large number of activities and initiatives under the School of Professional Studies. And obviously, such a bouquet would require specialists of various types and patterns with different skill sets to actually deliver this entire bouquet of courses to various learners. So what is your human resource strength? What are the type of people that work there, full-time, part-time, hourly, in what forms would you like to explain? Absolutely. That? So uh, when I talk about skilling school, we have multiple um, you know, um, professors and, and, and trainers across India who come over and, and deliver training. We are also associated with multiple uh, foreign uh, training companies. Uh, for example, when I talk about uh, IT-related courses, uh, we have got a certified company who gives certification on all the courses. 
So uh, they come over, it's, it's a one month, uh, it depends on which course you're planning to join. For example, you want to do DevOps, there is as a course on DevOps, you want to do Python, and we have a short one month course, one and a half month course, two month course on Python. So all of them. So we have, and as well as we have multiple um, very experienced uh, trainers and facilitators from uh, hired from across India today in our university. So what I was talking about is, so when you look at Adamus University, the best example I can give you is, uh, I love to go to shopping mall for when I do shopping. I'm sure you all love to do it. You know why? Because for me, the only reason is when I go to a shopping mall, I get everything under one roof. I can buy my groceries, I can buy my clothes, I can buy shoes, I can have good food, uh, I can watch a movie, all of them together. Adamus University is the same. So when you join Adamus University, it is like everything under one single roof. You not only get, get your uh, knowledge about the subject and get, you know, become good at your subject, but it, you also get prepared or acquire skill sets that's required to chase your dreams. So you are prepared for the next level called life. Great. Uh I mean, to think of an educational school or center providing a plethora of diverse skill set or skill based training, not necessarily limited to one domain of learning, but various domains of learning, and to position it like a supermarket of trainings or courses is a unique area, unique way of looking at it, undoubtedly. This whole concept of professional development as a core part of a university education. How has it evolved? What vision, whose vision, and what sort of concepts that evolved the whole thing as you see it today? Great. So uh, I would start this with thanking uh, Professor Shamit Ray, who is the um, chancellor of this university and the founder and the chairman of Rice Education. So the legacy goes back to that legacy of rice education, right? Now, sir had uh, had a vision that with Adamus University, I would also give opportunity to people, to students who wants to get into their government jobs. And that's how School of Professional Studies started. The vision was we would have uh, a training, uh, a, a, you know, um, a structured training program for all the students who wants to join government jobs and that's how it started and it went very well it went very well for quite a number of years <coughs> after that when we saw that this is working out well so we realized that the other students of other subjects who who doesn't want to get into government job but want to get into private jobs private sector jobs wants to join PSUs wants to go abroad why not help them also so we started um, st uh, you know increasing uh, a few few training sessions a few courses started off um, adding one after another and today we have um, courses um, primarily designed for all the schools for all the kind of um, you know uh, careers you can look at it is not only about PSUs it's not about private jobs sector jobs not about MNCs not about government jobs it's about everything you have a dream you get it done many of these youngsters who and start their journey to seek a fruitful productive career initially are very hyped up and very high on their you know desire and all that but many a time are not clear about what's the process to go ahead so how do you look at giving a particular road map giving um, boosting the confidence giving the power of critical thinking time management all these aspects how do you bring in in the initial stage of their learning when they come to the school of professional studies i think this is a very pertinent question i think i think all the students when they join the university uh, whether we are talking about UG course or PG course, they are not very absolutely sure of how to go about it. All right, they think that okay, I need to study my subject well, but can I continue with something else together along with my subject? That becomes a little challenge. I think here 
we are not uh, teachers facilitators we are their best friends and we should act as as counselors so we should act as you know um, as their as someone who can guide them so what we usually suggest is um, multiple uh, methods or multiple um, ways of looking at what they want to achieve for example if we discuss with them we sit down with them we discuss that okay what is it you are looking at and what if you're looking at a private sector job so these are the things which you should get in so what we are talking about is doing a training need analysis we are doing a tna now when i talk about tna yeah. what i'm talking about is understanding where they are understanding where they need to go and create a short path to reach where they want to go i think that's what we do and that's what we should act as it's not about um a facilitator or a trainer or a teacher or a professor it's about being their best friend who can guide them they're in the right path great being a guide a mentor and a friend is critical in today's world when adult learners look at hand holding and not instruction based learning the look at collaborative participative learning where your best skills and best uh, resources that you have within yourself best talent finds an expression rather than being dumbed down or instructed much of which has actually harmed the mainstay of indian education from school onwards in many places indeed this sort of an approach understanding the training needs of uh, of a particular human resource in the making and then hand holding them towards that goal is the right way of looking at it what are the soft skills that you would look at while developing this till talent in professional uh, development institute or school okay so before i answer that i would uh, quickly get in i'll talk about something which you are talking about the whole world is the entire training fraternity tra entire um, uh, all the academicians there is a shift there is a paradigm shift that's happening from uh, instructivism to constructivism so if you look at it uh, there is no more i instruct and you do what i instruct you to do no now i uh, there's a beautiful saying it says success your path to success is under construction it is always under construction and who is doing it you are the one who is constructing the path to success all right and today the entire thing has shifted towards more of constructivism and today we play a major role in helping them to construct that road to success so when i talk about soft skills as uh, you ask this question i think uh, what uh, we give them concepts it's very simple uh, to give a lecture but it's tough to to apply those concepts so what we usually look at is first given a concept make them understand the concept and then try and make them apply i keep telling this to people is knowledge powerful no knowledge alone is not a powerful application is what makes it powerful all right so i think i think that's the process we use for anything whether i talk about communication skill i'm talking about critical thinking i'm talking about um innovative thinking processes i'm talking about uh, time management it's all depends on understanding a concept applying that concept in your day to day life and get value from it once they get it they would use it everywhere conceptually what we know as knowledge largely is merely information is merely data so there's a large amount of information facts and data and findings of different research studies across ages and stages of life which we have come to term collectively as knowledge which in my opinion perhaps is only the starting of knowledge not even half of it the knowledge is information applied in a real life context giving a real impact making a real impact so when knowledge information data are contextualized applied in a particular context with a desired positive impact then it becomes knowledge knowledge is information applied creating impact and when you keep doing it repeatedly 
keep applying what you know in different contexts, creating impacts over a period of time, a, a very uh, conscientious and clear mind would get certain new norms or new ways of doing it. So doing the same thing with a different style, we call that innovation. And when you keep doing innovations repeatedly over various sectors, segments, time and situations, applying the old information turned into knowledge in different sectors, then this multiplicity of innovations leads to wisdom. So in one line, information contextualized and applied is knowledge. Knowledge repeated and creating new avenues of doing the same thing is innovation. And innovations repeated across time, space and contexts lead to wisdom. So wise man is an innovative, knowledgeable and action oriented man as well. Often we consider man with degrees, man with a lot of information as wise which is not right. Something that a professional approach to life and learning should teach us. Wisdom is far bigger than just amalgamation of information and data. Hey, welcome, welcome to Atlas. My research is on my way. I am very much proud to be a part of Adamas University. This is my passion and I am proud to be a part of Adamas University. This is Kunal Kanti Maiti. I'm Sweet Yoni Paul. This college has given me placement in one of the best companies in US staffing, which is Iconma. I am proud to be a part of Adamus University. Education today is changing the traditional chalk and talk method into new age experiential learning. New techniques like flipped classroom, case study method and increasingly higher component of learning by doing are changing the game. Also, evaluation processes are evolving from just semester end exam to continuous evaluation. Jury judge practical work, life projects and whatnot. Aroma School of Education prepares these new age teachers for schools and colleges of India. Hello Rojgar, Kaja Shikriti. उज्जवल भविष्य 
with a 2% share of the India's GDP. The media industry is growing faster than India's GDP. And with the world's largest number of films and television channels, it is the national informer and entertainer. With more than 1,000 films a year, cinema is our soft power. News, entertainment, brand communication, we lead Asia in all. And a multi-skilled multimedia talent is being trained in the Arama School of Media and Communication. Pharmaceutical technology is on the rise in India in particular and Asia in general. And newer research in medicine is modernizing the sector immensely. We in India have the fastest growing pharma sector in the developing world today. Arama School of Pharmaceutical Technology with its superb and detailed laboratory facilities as one of the best pharma schools in the nation waiting to welcome you. There is no more intellectual pursuit of knowledge higher than the liberal sciences which encompass physics, chemistry, mathematics, geography and psychology. Adamas University School of Sciences has seamlessly blended conceptual learning with practice and evolved BSc and MSc courses leading to research academic and corporate careers for the learners. Welcome to the wonderful world of sciences at Adamas University. Professor Chaudhary, moving ahead, we ha you have brought in a lot of aspects to this whole discourse. There are certain things that we are looking at in future. Gathering and collecting of information in mind is no more considered to be the end of learning. Right. So in tomorrow's world, information is easily available through Google, through any other search engine. Google is the commonest, but any other search engine. So what's important in tomorrow's world is critical thinking and problem solving. You need to solve your real life problems. Critically think and find solutions. It's a solution oriented mind which is required and a mind of innovation and problem solving. How do you really create that mind among youngsters who come for professional education? Because it's very easy to say about critical, speak about critical thinking. The other problem also, if you could add both together, people are either born leaders or born followers. And we are entering into an era where you need to be a team worker at one point of time and a leader at another point of time. How do you bring critical thinking, problem solving and leadership abilities in the young people who come in? Wonderful. So uh, let, let's start, let, let me answer one thing at a time. Let's start off with uh, critical thinking. I think the first thing we need to uh, make them understand is data as data. Data is not wisdom. If we can make them understand this, that data is not absolute. Data is the way you show it to people. Right. For example, I keep uh, giving this example to people that you can tell that, okay, I gave you 10, 20 questions and you um, answered only two correct. Either I can give you minus 18 or I can give you plus two. All right. Plus two says, oh, okay, I am improving. Minus 18 says you are doing terrible. You can never improve. So the point is what am I giving it to, to them or what data or what information is only to be processed. It is not the final result. If we make this concept clear with every student, you would realize that they, have, they would start thinking on their own. And I keep giving this to people that do not tell them, do not tell students what to think. Tell them how to think. I think we would solve most of our problems if we teach our students how to think and not what to think. Let them think whatever they want to think. Carlyle, I'm, I'm reminded of an Italian scholar called Carlyle in the Renaissance time who said, ask someone to think, not what to think. Because if you make them think, they will find the right things to think about. What you have said right. Don't ask them what to think, ask them how to, how think. to think. You need to teach them how to think. I think, I think that is where um, these um, critical thinking uh, abilities come in. All right? So when I, when I teach, when I talk to them and sit down and, and discuss on what critical thinking is, I keep telling them that collect information as much as you can. 
do not think what is right and what is wrong do not think oh this is correct this is incorrect collect all the data have all the information with you then sit down start writing them penning down all the information all the points then try and start analyzing data i think that's the source of or the beginning of critical thinking now let me talk about the other very important question which is the leadership point of view leadership and team work together and team work together simultaneously absolutely i think i think um if you look at if we look at the theories of leadership you would we, you, we would understand that in the from the beginning times there was something which is called transactional leadership right. all right so i tell you to do something and in return i give it give you something else all right so obviously people would do it all right so this is the beginning of leadership but the challenge of transactional leadership is you are telling people what to do you are not allowing them to think on their own what to be done and so what you create in leader in in uh, transactional leadership is you create followers mostly you do not create leaders and today with the global world it is essential it is imperative that we create multiple leaders otherwise we um, would not be able to survive All right so when i talk about creating leaders one of my favorite is transformational leadership i think that is where every professor every teacher every uh, guide every mentor come into existence i think you as a teacher as a mentor as a professor would portray transformational leadership so that they learn from the way you act your actions become examples for them so that they can go ahead and do those things at that point in time i think that is where transformational leadership comes in and through transformational leadership you create multiple leaders very good all right i think i think that's the concept in we fact, to get that's a very good way of looking at how leadership differs from a legal structured transactional give and take leadership and an emotionally strong transformational leadership someone who really inspires a leader is by inspiration as well so great way of looking at it with a 2% share of the india's gdp the media industry is growing faster than india's gdp and with the world's largest number of films and television channels it is the national informer and entertainer with more than 1000 films a year cinema is our soft power news entertainment brand communication we lead asia in all and a multi skill multimedia talent is being trained in the arima school of media and communication pharmaceutical technology is on the rise in india in particular and asia in general a newer research in medicine is modernizing the sector immensely We in India have the fastest growing pharma sector in the developing world today. Adama School of Pharmaceutical Technology with its superb and detailed laboratory facilities has one of the best pharma schools in the nation waiting to welcome you. There's no more intellectual pursuit of knowledge higher than the liberal sciences which encompass physics, chemistry, mathematics, geography and psychology. Adamas University School of Sciences has seamlessly blended conceptual learning with practice and evolved BSc and MSc courses leading to research academic and corporate careers for the learners welcome to the wonderful world of sciences at Adamas University education today is changing the traditional chalk and dot method into new age experiential learning new techniques like flipped classroom case study method and increasingly higher component of learning by doing are changing the game also evaluation processes are evolving from just semester end exam to continuous evaluation jury judge practical work life projects and what not arima school of education prepares these new age teachers for schools and colleges of india bhalo rozgar kaaje shikriti স্বপ্নের চাকরি এগুলোর জন্য কি শুধুই কঠোর পরিশ্রম যথেষ্ট না এটা পড়াশোনা এবং প্রফেশনাল ট্রেনিং এর একটা কম্বিনেশন তাই যে এমন একটি কলেজ বা ইউনিভার্সিটি যেটা এই দুটোরই গ্যারান্টি দেয় 
যেমন অ্যাডমস ইউনিভার্সিটি এখানে ছাত্ররা শুধু পরীক্ষায় দারুণ নম্বরই নয় সঙ্গে পায় দুর্দান্ত প্লেসমেন্ট এবং কর্মজীবনের প্রয়োজনীয় দক্ষতা তাই আজই নিজেকে রেজিস্টার করো অ্যাডমস ইউনিভার্সিটির অ্যাডমিশন টেস্ট আর এগিয়ে যাও একটা উজ্জ্বল ভবিষ্যতের দিকে Along with critical thinking that you brought in, the discourse and critical thinking, there is also the aspect of problem solving. Right. Because critical thinking is about solving real life problems, whether in individual lives or in collective lives or in societal lives or national lives or at the global level. Right. Whatever it might be, for example. So problem solving, in my opinion, when we are facing the problem, the first task is to understand the dimensions of the problem. If you do not know what exactly you are to solve, you cannot solve it ever. So to know the dimensions of the problem, one has to look at a 360 degree of the issue and then break the issue into small components. As management philosophy says, when you break something into small components, it's easy to handle each component and have a consequence or have an impact on each of them. And when we start having, and we can even, even delegate, when we divide the big task into small tasks and delegate to a large number of people, and one person strongly coordinates amongst all, then the thing comes into place or falls into place naturally and automatically. This is very significant in problem solving. This is one skill that everyone should learn in professional development. Absolutely, absolutely. It reminds me of a jigsaw puzzle. I'll give yeah, you yeah, a uh, very good. Uh, problem solving is like a jigsaw puzzle, right? So you get a lot of information, you get all the information together, analyze it now. The next part is called synthesis. What we do is we take those broken pieces, try and bring them together in a different form. Not the original form, not what it was, right? So that you have multiple, as you said, the 360 degree approach to a problem. And that is where your problem solving ability comes in. All right, I get information, I store it, I keep it, and analyze it, synthesize it, then reach to a result. And I always say, a well-informed mind is always going to produce decisive results. Very well said, very well said. Well-informed mind, which can t turn this information into actionable points, Absolutely. will have decisive results. Because significant point today's, in today's world is not scholasticism. In the era of internet, it's not important to know a lot of things reasonable amount of knowledge is required, reasonable amount of information is required. But what is significant in an information overladen world, which is led by internet, is that what you know, you should be able to act on it. You should be able to decide and thereby act on it. So it, what is significant is the action that we take yes. on every form of information. Absolutely. How is the School of Professional Studies functioning? What sort of courses running? I mean, what you have the bouquet you have told, but what exactly are running now? And how do you, how are you looking forward to the next one year academic year? All right. So uh, for the next one uh, next academic year, uh, we are looking at as I told you, we have courses going on on uh, the WBCS and uh, IAS IPS, um, as well as your um, uh, SSCCGL exams. All right, that's going on. Now this year, once the um, your uh, this term starts off, we would start off with the foreign language classes. We have already started off with webinars and multiple online classes on um, the soft skills, which are your communication and effective communication and uh, critical thinking and time management. All right. And with the beginning of our physical classes, we would also start off with the short courses, right? So short courses for all the schools. So when I talk about School of Law and Justice, we would have a couple of short courses for them. For uh, engineering school, we would have short courses for them. For School of Sciences, we would have multiple short time courses. For example, law, we would have um, the legal writing piece, which I had been discussing uh, a couple of days ago we would launch um, a course on legal writing how to become expert in writing legal documents right that's a short-term course we would launch so uh, that's what we are looking at we are looking at um, you know providing um, a plethora of short courses for all the schools as well as the foreign uh, um, foreign languages and as we know uh, our competitive exams are 
in place. We have IELTS and TOEFL classes going on. We have GRE, GMAT um, and GATE classes start off once we open our school. Great. That's indeed uh, very useful and that's indeed looking forward to uh, having large amount of value addition to the youngsters who would be joining this institute uh, and who are already in the, uh, in the university. Uh, more than 3,000 students are already there and 2,000 more are expected to join by September. This is a great offer from the School of Professional Studies, very diverse, starting from basic skills development, moving on to special skills by, for, for short courses from each school through the Professional Studies department and also foreign languages. Along with that, preparing for foreign, uh, what should I say, preparing for uh, higher education and foreign education, uh, uh, studying abroad and preparing for competitive exams as well. This is in indeed a great plethora of offerings and initiatives which we are, we, you are under the School of Professional Studies providing for youngsters. I do not know, I'm not so much aware of what in our region at least in East and Northeast India, the universities are offering to such a diverse uh, you know, plethora of bouquet of initiatives for evolving a talent from its raw status to its evolved highest status. Indeed, looking forward to similar such interactions with your school and with you in times to come, and looking forward to a, a large pool of human resources who are very good very efficient with respect to uh, uh, problem solving, critical thinking, leadership, teamwork, and specific skills required for being a good professional uh, in the workplace. Thank, Thank you. you for this illuminating discussion that we had today. Thank Oscar. you so much.